What's up guys, my name is Andrew. I like to talk about men's health, men's grooming, men's fashion. And in today's video, we're gonna go over six things that make any guy instantly unattractive. Let's get into it. Number one is having a bad breath. I can't stress this enough, but it's not only unattractive to girls if a guy has a bad breath. Like, it's an attractive trait overall of people in general. People who have bad breaths are just viewed as unattractive. I know that I have one classmate who I don't know why it is but sometimes when I'm around him and when we are talking I really like spot it with my nose and he has such a horrible breath like it's so stinky when he opens his mouth and it's just not a good look for himself because this is how he is representing himself so i'm not saying i always had a nice breath or not a stinky one at least i think lately i have kind of a good breath because i brush my teeth consistently i don't miss out on brushing my teeth and i'm also using a tongue scrubber okay for people who don't know what that is it's this okay it's this thing right here it's made out of steel and you can buy it probably in some medical stores or in some health care stores maybe dnm is probably one of them but you can even buy it on aliexpress like <laughs> seriously it's everywhere so i bought it from the aliexpress and it really does excellent job okay the thing is when you breathe when you sleep when you go about your days the plaque that is created in your mouth is not only gonna sit on your teeth, okay? That is why you brush your teeth, to remove the plug and to clean your teeth. But when you don't do that with your tongue, it sits on the tongue still. Then what happens is that you have this huge kind of layer on your tongue which is super stinky and it's just super unhygienic, okay? You have all this bacteria on it and it's just not a great look. I mean, when I first started using this thing, the tongue scrubber, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Like, sometimes I wanted to spit all of my things that I just eaten because, you know, you're rubbing your tongue and it's uncomfortable and it makes you want to spit things out of your mouth. So I would still recommend getting yourself a tongue scrubber because it's just about getting used to it. And when you get used to it, you can have a fresh breath without any unnecessary smells. Use the tongue scrubber to actually clean the pluck out of your tongue, please, because that's gonna really improve how your breath smells. Number two, we have being rude or aggressive. If you're rude to your parents or to your friends or to your partner or to the family of your partner or aggressive to anyone for that matter, maybe if you're in a bar and you drink some drinks and someone like gives you a shoulder hit or something like that and you get super pissed off and aggressive towards that person like trust me it's really not attractive being rude and aggressive to people it's a big turn off not only to women but also to men as well like i know some really rude people and aggressive people and Trust me, most people don't want to be around those kinds. Who would like to be around someone like that? Like, honestly, it scares people away. It's not a great look and you never want to do such things because it's gonna only shoot you in the foot. You're gonna regret it afterwards. Number three, we have smoking. There is not much to discuss about. Like, I think we both would agree on the fact that if you're not a smoker yourself and you enjoy this kind of activity if you are a non-smoker like trust me you are not gonna be interested in someone that is smoking okay or that is indulging in smoking honestly it not only makes you super smelly of that horrible smoke making you smell like trash but it's also super unhealthy to your lungs and it's really not a great sign when it comes to other people and how they perceive you because they're, what they're gonna think about you is that you are just not responsible enough for your own body and you can't take a good care of it so they will probably choose some other healthier guy instead of you 
just because you are not even able to take control over your own body and take care of it because taking care of yourself is one of the most fundamental things that you are gonna be able to develop as a man when it comes to dating like you want to take care of yourself it's super unattractive in the today's society like i think overall you should reconsider get yourself a therapist or discuss it with your good friends okay not the friends that you are smoking with but healthy friends that are trying to actually help you discuss it with them okay and track your progress on quitting this addiction because it is not an easy task number four we have been constantly negative if you're a man and you are constantly and always negative about your life how it is how it looks like what things have happened to you maybe you should reconsider your thinking and rebuild your mind because really being always negative is not gonna get you successful let's be honest i'm gonna be truly honest with you it's not gonna get you successful so try to be more positive okay positive people attract people because they're positive themselves they are positive they are humble they're building things okay they always try to build something more they always try to do something more they always try to better themselves in something but they are not negative about it okay yeah sometimes they might feel like crap because life is just hard and it brings people down by itself but they never give up you know they don't give up they stay positive they embrace the process and they just go and flow with all that positivity that they have they bring others up as well and it's super amazing that's why positive people have so many not only dating options but friend options as well and they just bring people in and it's super attractive to be positive about life if you struggle with not being positive try journaling try to figure out your goals try to figure out who is it that you want to be and get in touch with yourself okay do what you want to do make sure that you accomplish your goals because yeah accomplishing goals is hard but let me tell you it's the best thing that you will ever do so please stop being negative it's not gonna help you and positive and you're gonna attract more people as well and lastly we have bragging about money if you're always talking about money if you're always sharing how much you are making with other people if you're always sharing your financial decisions that you've made if you are always sharing your financial situation and your life with other people it is fine to some degree but if you're always doing that and you're bragging about the stuff how you worked for some of your friend's uncles and he paid you like five hundred dollars for one hour and you worked there for 10 hours and you share that with everybody like it's not a great look okay and it makes you look egoistic it makes you look not rich if you think that it makes you look rich and that people are gonna perceive you as a person who has money like they want okay you might actually have the money but if you are always talking about it and you're always sharing it with other people just to get their validation i don't care how much money you are making i don't care how much money in your bank account there is having money and being abundant with money i think that is important i'm not doubting that like people should talk about money and money should be discussed in families i think that's an important topic to discuss but always sharing your income always sharing how much you're making always sharing and bragging about how much you made this month it just makes you look like a prick it makes you look foolish because a true guy who is wealthy, who has his life together, who is a high value guy, he doesn't need to brag about his income. He doesn't need to talk about his income. He doesn't need to talk about his money. He knows how much he's making and he keeps that for himself, okay? 
he's confident enough to keep that for himself it's just your own decisions okay how much money you are gonna make it's only based on your own decisions and if you want to make a lot of money like do that for yourself okay there is nothing wrong about that but just don't talk about it much okay be confident with it you know be confident with the person that you're becoming but don't try to brag about it and don't always talk about it because truth is everyone is trying to bring money on the table and like the food on the table as well just keep it to yourself it's only gonna make you look foolish and a true confident guy would never like share some of his best experiences oh i made this much this month oh my god look at me no so that's not what he does he makes the money because he wants to provide he wants to provide for his own family he wants to make his own life better and he is doing all those things for himself so he is not gonna talk to other people about it because he's doing that for himself not for others that's all from me in today's video and i'll see you in the next one peace